Hey there, everyone. This is Tina, and this is your message of the day. And this comes to you on Saturday, April the twenty ninth, twenty twenty three. And this day really stirs your heart. Now you might say, "What does that mean?" Basically, all that is not working for you anymore: bad habits, where you don't speak up for yourself, injustice, whatever it might be. is going to make its presence known all you have to do is stay focused on your life purpose basically on what your heart is really stirred by that's why it is a tibetan master because anything to do with buddhism is to do with balance so this master comes forward literally bringing the energy of peace the power of peace the power of knowing the power of the moment and the power of life purpose because that is sometimes an overwhelming thought how do i fulfill my destiny those kind of questions you can ask them this day of your guides of your angels whatever form you seek the answer it will come to you be it astrology be it cards be at meditation but give yourself the chance to ask that question so you are at peace knowing that you're taking the step forward and going exactly where you're supposed to and don't worry about the pronunciation of the master because some people get confused with how to pronounce his name it's dwal kul and don't worry about the meaning of the name just see the words which one really quick captures your attention grabs your attention dharma unfolding or is it just dharma or is it unfolding which one is it and there's a lot of golden and white and copper energy in the atmosphere today as a whole absorb that protect yourself with that Ga- gather the vibrancy so you can rise and you're rising with the power of the light not just in your own effort so you don't feel tired and you don't feel scared and you don't feel insecure about where you should go next see the words they're very very relevant remember that you are on a path that means you haven't reached the destination yet so don't think you've made a mistake and you've gone off the road just ask for the next step forward and archangel archangel gabriel is very much guiding this process this day and a lot of co- copper energy is within you in your words in your atmosphere in your conversations meditation anything to do with communication this is the day to capture that and to ask your questions don't hold back because there's a holy flame behind him that is literally inspiring you touch that if you want to just feel again in touch with the universe that you feel, you've been feeling dull or anger is taking over or your physical health is not good whatever reason it is that is taking you away from your perfect divine self now of course you cannot be perfect all the time but you're meant to at least showcase the best of you to feel that yes i'm there i've arrived and i have something to share so if you want to start that book that song that painting that class whatever it is that your heart is just saying i want to share this i want to share this it doesn't have to be related to healing it can be the best computer service it can be the be- best mechanical service the best doctor doctors are needed how much stress is there maybe you're a very good teacher go ahead so remember that you are on this path and take one step at a time to happiness and now you might notice his robe is unusual right in that sense that half of it 
is golden, and the center near the heart chakra is kind of a russet color, an earthy color. That is just saying that if you feel so out of it, that, you know, I'm just doing meditation and all, but my practical reality is not changing. And I feel out of it. <laughs> See? Me included. I'm right there with you. I don't say I'm perfect. I just say I'm a messenger of the light. Okay? So we're all going forward together. So this is just saying now balance will come to you. In which form you need that balance, which part of your chakras is needing more energy or more attention or your aura or any realm of your life, your relationships, your words, what is bothering you. Surrender it all to this glowing, vibrating cloth. It's literally divine cloth. And touch that as much as you need to. Because then it will activate the beautiful balancing, bringing earth, water, wind, and air together. All of you. All of you. Mind, body, spirit, however you need balance. This is basically the mandala of balance. Whatever way you seek it, you can keep on activating it for your specific pers person, <laughs> relationship, your home, your activities, your body, whatever purpose you set it to, it will activate. And you'll feel it within your heart chakra even now, if you touch your heart just for a moment. Because he is saying to you, don't take leaps forward this day, for you're not ready for leaps. This is not the time to take quantum leaps forward. Take one step at a time to happiness and you will arrive. You can see his third eye also. It's very gently, gracefully pulsating. This is for any form of visualization that you want to engage in this day. Nothing is asking you to be dramatic. See his eyes. And wherever you feel shun, you feel sad, you feel alone. People are not getting you, people are not understanding you, whatever. This is not the time to carry your baggage around. This is the fact, fact that he's looking at you is saying that your baggage is transforming, is changing. Your words carry power, but use them to express love and understanding. And don't engage in unnecessary arguments. Yes, stand up for yourself, but you can stand up for yourself by using divine power and not hurting anyone. Do you see any form of it? Anything within his form? Any form of hate within him? No. Peace, love, balance, and it's un unfolding ever so gracefully. You can literally ask the angels of grace that help me understand the spirit of grace as I engage in the activities of the day. And this robe he's wearing will literally envelop you with vibrancy, with care, with compassion, with love. So automatically what you engage in, the words you speak, the conversations you engage in, the form of creativity you choose to focus on will all carry the divine signature automatically. Because he's glowing with the light, right? He's not trying anything. It's just coming because of that flame behind him. The Dharma is unfolding. And he's protected. He's feeling safe, secure, himself, that there's nothing wrong with him. And you don't have to prove yourself. Because the flame will automatically bring hearts together. You can even send this into a space, into a manifestation, your body, 
if your body is feeling weak in any way, a manifestation, a prayer. And if you just want Archangel Metatron's beautiful presence to give you literally the step-by-step, like what is it that I need to focus on? Is it my chakras? Is it my aura? Is it a pen? (laughs) It can be that specific, yes. You'll just get one step at a time. So don't ask for the next step. Finish what you received. Now you'll say, how do I receive this? I'm not a great psychic. How do I know? And recognize the fact that it's a divine sign. Your heart and your throat, both are very much coordinated this day. One of them will respond in some way. If not, one of your chakras or Ask. Ask for something specific. Maybe you have a great connection to the color red. Maybe you have a great connection to birds, flowers, the rose scent. Whatever it is that is unique to you, that I like to cook. So maybe you get an urge to go and cook something. That means that is also a sign for you literally to cook something into being. You'll recognize it as such and say, let that, you know, ping go off in my head. I get excited. Because see, there's a lot of copper and the presence of Archangel Gabriel. It's not by just just like that, that it's just happened, just by chance. (coughs) I could have said, I'm not going to choose to speak this day, but here I am. Because my heart wants wants to pour out to each one of you. I'm grateful for each one of you being here. It's the same with you. Don't give up on your dreams. In fact, your dreams are even more honored this day. You're honored. If you sit down and finish that one page of your book, the next page will automatically appear. Why? Because you chose to do it. If you choose to clean a room... All of it will get cleaned very quickly. I'm just giving you examples that you can relate to. So go ahead and remember that you're on a path. You started walking and no mistake you've made, even the regrets you have, surrender them to Dhalku and say, just let me touch my heart and feel the love. The love of the angels, the love of the Divine ones in all realms of heaven, the ascended masters, the divine mothers, they're all holding me. You might see a huge circle of light around you right now. Just feel that for one moment because that holy fire is burning away, burning away all that is unnecessary, where you bound yourself, where you stopped yourself. Choose to accept that you are lovable, you're special, you have something to give, your destiny is going to open for you, and just keep looking into his eyes for confirmation if your heart doesn't believe it or your mind negates it in any way. And clear it back, clear it back with the golden white light to perfection. Nothing can penetrate that wall, not even your thoughts. So why not make them positive, right? And now choose for yourself one symbol of peace, that this is what I'm going to remember every time I express either verbally or through written words or through email, however it is that I express myself to digital art. That's fine. It's your form of expression. But just choose one symbol to remain with you as your focal point. And then nothing will stir you from what you're bound to do, you can say, or you have decided to do. Only love and light and the divine ones will surround you at this time. 
Keep on repeating these words to yourself. It's very important this day. Remember that you're on a path and take one step at a time to happiness. Decide what step, for what purpose, with who. You can call in all the realms of heaven and how you are doing this, that one step. You'll go forward because that mandala of act is activated of activation, of peace, of success, <laughs> of success, of power is with you. And you choose now the symbol that is your specific symbol and the specific color that is calling you and wherever you want to apply this color. On clothing, in your hands, in your third eye, around you, as a cloak to a specific situation in meditation you want to explore further connection with this through reiki however it is you'll succeed just try give yourself that chance because see behind him is complete golden white light and it's flowing so gracefully peacefully and there's no direction per se. It's just lighting up the space behind him. So you're protected and safe absolutely in divine light. You cannot go wrong. And this is given to you by the keepers of the light. Shared by Kyle Gray. And Kyle can be reached at kylegray.co.uk. And the holy art that helps us understand our dharma so well. Dharma basically is a Hindi word for life purpose. It's your destiny. And this is shared, shared with us so beautifully and powerfully by Lily Moses. And Lily can be reached at L-I-L-Y-M-O-S-E-S dot com. And this is Tina signing off for now. So let's all get to our dharmas. And enjoy this day. And please do share if you want to on this space here. We all learn from one another. I I choose to learn from each one of you. And thank you for being here and giving me this chance to share with you every day. Bye for now.